it's PoE. It's got microphone on it. It's not got two-way audio on this one, so it's just got the microphone. We've got the ability to pop in SD card into the unit. Got wide dynamic range. It's got your AI detection, and it is IP65 waterproof. Today we're going through Ajax's CCTV products that they have. I know there's only a few in the range, but we're gonna dive in. I'm gonna get this unit out of the box, go through the features, put it up onto the board, connect it up and see what we have with their camera. Like always, don't forget to follow, subscribe, like the video, and you'll get notified when we post more on. So Ajax themselves brought out CCTV, probably been about two years or so now. Anyone who knows who's fitted Ajax systems, they predominantly came out with intruder alarms. And then as they saw the demands and needs where people wanted one app to have all the security under. With Ajax, you can connect in a third party CCTV system. So let's say for example, you can stream in Hikvision or a Dehua device into the unit. However, the downside, you can only see live footage. You can't go into any playback or any settings or anything like that with the cameras. So Ajax then went away and have designed their own systems. Now they've brought out probably about, I think four or five cameras. So they've got the turret camera. They've got the mini dome camera. They've got a bullet camera. One, two, three, I think that's what they've got. And then they've got the doorbell camera. The features that Ajax have got. So for example, on this turret camera, it's PoE. It's got microphone on it. It's not got two-way audio on this one. So it's just got the microphone. We've got the ability to pop in SD card into the unit. Got wide dynamic range. It's got your AI detection and it is IP65 waterproof. So I'll take a unit out the box and look at it a bit closer. So the unit itself, they do it in two colors. They do black and they do white. It's a matte black. Camera itself is a five megapixel and it has 2.8 millimeter wide angle lens, which is predominantly what a lot more people are fitting nowadays. It's, it's more wide angle. They've gone away from the very focal where it used to be a 2.8 to 8 millimeter. Pretty much a lot of the CCTV systems now, or cameras I should say, they're coming out with 2.8 millimeter lenses. People want a wide angle, but what they don't understand, you've got a wide angle shot, but you're not picking up that detail in the, in the image. Me personally, I would probably go with an overview wide angle and then have another camera which can zoom in closer onto setting itself. On here, it's got your RJ45, which is for your PoE. I think it also has a light yet. It's got a light on there to let you know once it's connected. And you've got your 12 volts power in case you don't have a PoE network connection or in case you're just going to use it as a standalone system not connected to uh, the network. So we've got a microphone on the unit here. You can see a small hole and it's dismantled with Allen key which comes in. It's got infrared light which are behind this section. Now there has been call from engineers feedback to Ajax that people want white light because they want to get color at nighttime and they keep saying when are you going to come out with white light, white light. I personally would say that they should maybe even skip the white light now because there are AI chipsets that give you color at nighttime without any lighting. So we've started off with infrared lighting. It's gone to white light and now there's cameras out there that can do color without any lights. So I think Ajax should skip the step of white light. It's pretty much pointless going developing that technology and then going to move on to the one that's currently out. These turret cameras, probably one of the most popular style cameras with with a lot of other manufacturers it's quite easy simple to install back box because where do you feed this cable so let's say you're mounting it onto a solid wall you have got cables that you need to hide somewhere and rather than going with the cheap electrical boxes that some people install ajax do their own junction box again this took quite a bit of time to come out because ajax think about it they don't just launch a product straight into the market and then look at the faults and get the feedback they've looked seen what they need to develop and the junction box 
that they have come out with is one box which will fit all their CCTV cameras onto. So for example, this is the turret camera. The turret camera, you'll see when I mount it onto the wall, it will house the turret camera. It's also got screw settings for the bullet camera and also the mini dome. Couldn't tell you what the price is of the junction box itself as I don't have that information to hand. However, nice looking junction box, which again, matches up with the camera. Now the camera itself has the ability to house an SD card, micro SD card, which fits in just behind this compartment here. As you can see, we've got the QR code. That's what we're going to scan to add the device onto the system. And behind there, you can populate it with an SD card. So it's like a fail safe recording. Let's say you don't have an MVR. You can record utilizing the SD card into the camera itself. There's no requirement to have an MVR. However, we are going to connect up to an MVR in some later videos. At the moment, I'm just showing what the camera can do. So I've added the camera onto the junction box. I've left this out here just to show you. We've got the light on the back, watch the recording. And now simply from my phone, which you'll see alongside on the screen, I've got the pictures streaming through. Now this is live imagery coming through. I've not added the SD card onto the device and I've not got the MBR. So at the moment, all I'm doing is watching live imagery and you can see at the bottom, it says live. If I did want to do any other further features, you can see I open up there, I can take a snapshot image. You can set up the AI features on here and you can select which audio, which video quality. Now, I think the volume is down on here. I've got this set on do not disturb, so we're not gonna get the sound streaming through. If we go to the settings, you can tell that the unit is online. Memory card, not installed. You can see what resolution, this is the five megapixel, set to 25 frames per second on H265. And let's just have a look here. It shows you what the IP address, MAC address of the unit. Let's go into the settings. Now here where you can do more of the settings directly with recording, preferences, detection, how you can set up motion detection. So if we go into the motion detection, it's quite a simple, simple case of with your fingers, which section or erase, which section you want to add in, etc. Come back out of that video stream, select what resolution you want it to record at. Again, if you need to adjust any of the settings, you shouldn't really need to adjust the settings on here. Audio, if you how you want the audio to record, if you want it to be disabled on playback, because sometimes you may not, if you've got it outside and it's listening to neighbors' conversations, you may not want to pick up those conversations. Got privacy zone built in also. So quite simple if I want to block out this section here, click done. That's now got the privacy zone set up. Go into the memory card it'll show us if we want to format it and what size we've got in there and as standard with any ajax device we've got the user guide that we can also go through so that itself is the ajax turret camera